Hey, this is Ralph. And in this video, I want to produce this web table, but I want to make sure it looks good to mobile users. And I'd also like to get these alternating rows of color on here. So to start this off, I am going to head over to my page, which I've already got set up, but it's blank at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and create my table. Now I've got this guide of kind of what the table should look like. This is just from a Word document that I use, and I want to make a web version of this. I'm going to take this picture and move it off to the side. On my markup, I'll go ahead and produce this table. Now, after the opening and closing table tag, I'll go ahead and put it in a place where there might be a caption. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and create the rows. Now, creating the rows using th tags for table header and td tags for table data is pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to speed past this part. Okay, so I think I've got the basic HTML structure. How's this looking right now on my page? Now there it is, but this is still a little bit misleading. So I'm going to go ahead and um, Control Shift I on my browser. I'm going to go into mobile mode. And yeah, iPhone 10, 375 pixels wide. I want to see how this looks for that. Now, I've got to start to get some styling in here so this table is easy to visualize. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and just yeah, I'll just refer to it as my table. No big deal there. So for my table, I'm going to set the width to be 90, 96% of the parent. And I'll go ahead and do a margin, one end, top and bottom, auto left and right to center that table. And I'm not going to put a border there, but I will put border collapse, collapse. This will allow my cells to share their borders. So if I happen to have something like TDs and THs, and they have a thin border. Now we'll start to notice when I refresh that those borders are shared. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'll put a little padding on there. 0.3 M's. Okay, good enough. Now you can see that I've got this narrow space, but clearly some of these cells need to be sized or wider than others. Now to make this make my life a little bit easier and to build in some consistency, I'm going to use the call group tag with some call tags. So let's see. After my caption, but before any of my table content, I'm going to go ahead and put in a call group. And then I'm going to, in between those tags, I'm going to go ahead and create a call. Class equals call1 call, class equals call2, which is going to deal with my second column of cells, and then call, class equals call3, however, I'm going to do a span equals 4, and that's going to deal with columns 3, 4, 5, and 6. I have a total of 6 columns in this table, so that should take care of that just fine. Now, because each of these columns has their own class, I'll be able to style them. For instance, I could go to call three and background color pink and you'll see that those columns are all going to have that pink background color. Now I didn't want to change the background color but what I can do with something like this is I can set the width to be 11 percent and so that makes a little bit more sense. My first column that just has a weak number with 8%. So what do I have? 44 plus 8, that's going to get me to like 52, which means dot call 2 is going to have a width of 48. Sound right? So 8 and 48, that's a 56. 56 plus 44, remember there's three columns with that 11% width, should get me to 100. And now I'm going to be able to ensure that my four columns on the far right of this table are of equal widths, and my topic table, which has the most text, is the greatest width. Now, of course, a lot of this would look better if everything was, uh, the font sizes were a little bit smaller. So I can take my THs, and I can set um, the font size to be 0.6 M's. I'll do a background color that's dark, and a color that's light. And then my TDs, now let's just do font size, 
0.8 m's. And that'll start to make things look a little bit smaller. So that's not too bad. And I still remember this feels good for a mobile device that's 375 pixels. Okay, I do want those rows to alternate in color. And that's actually gonna be pretty easy for us too. We can just head down here and I can do something like tr colon nth child odd. So every odd row in my table will have a background color that's light yellow. When I refresh, we'll see, oh, perfect, takes care of that. Now, of course, we don't notice the first row because that's got an overriding background color, but I could change this instead to even. And so now my second row, fourth row, and so forth has those alternating background colors. So a couple things that we used that made our lives a little bit easier to work with here today. Call group with the call tags allow us to style sets of columns in a consistent way. And then TR, nth child, odd or even, so that we can style alternating rows within our table. Thanks for hanging out with me.